flat. It's dimensionless. It has one point. This is how wiser folk see reality. They draw upon their past and their future to make decisions. This is another way to see reality. I want you to know that every minute you spend with me is your final minute. These minutes after they have passed will never change and you can never get them back. They are permanent and they are final. This is your slow and silent murder and I am the murderer. This video is a recording of my past and I know that I am making it for your future. I know that your future self will be creating the memory of my memories and attaching the meanings to my meanings. And I know that some of you have already clicked off and I'm no longer talking to them and they will never hear what I have to say. And I know that the layers of reality are deep and they will never end, especially when you are dealing with the manipulation of space and time as I do on a daily basis. Someone is watching this video right now, 20 years from now, October 20th, 12, 20, 12 16 a.m. Tuesday, 2009, according to the Gregorian calendar. Three o'clock, three a.m. It's three a.m., guys. A lot happened this week, as a matter of fact, being the last week of school. I got a lot done, talked to a lot of people, and started a lot of things. Uh, my dad came home with the news that he's not going to be employed. You know what's really interesting is that you're not looking at me right now. Oh, what? You're? I'm looking into your eyes, and you're looking into mine. Can you get a good view of that? Well, <laughs> you're not. Because for one thing, I'm not looking at you. I don't even know who you are. Uh, uh, for another thing, uh, you're not looking at me either. Because I'm not even here right now. I'm probably sleeping. It's pretty clear that appearance isn't reality. You know, I'm sure you were expecting me here, as always, broadcasting my awakening of injustice, truth, and beauty to anyone who will listen. And some of you want to have that awakening with me. And some of you just want to watch. Something, something that amazes me is that people will give you stuff in exchange for this. This piece of cloth. It's not actually paper, it's, it's a kind of cloth. Yeah, if it was paper, it'd probably, uh... When you put it in the washing machine, it'd be gone. But uh, we have this unwritten mori in our society. From the moment you were born, it's, you know, drilled into you because everybody else does it, that this is worth something. You know, I can get, uh, I can get several milkshakes for this, this piece of paper. Something I want you to realize is that you come here to me on the greatest journey of your entire life. This is one of the most unique things in your life. You've come here through a sea of billions of faces and minds and conversations. You could have chosen on 10,000 other things, but instead you're here with me. You've chosen to spend your final minutes with me. Is that what you want to do? Because this is your slow and silent murder. Something I think that's really funny is when somebody in my family says it was gone. Like, uh, for example, I ask my sister, where's all the chicken? She says, it's gone. I say, it's gone? Where did it go? And then she says, I ate it. You ate it? You ate it? You ate it? You ate it? You ate the chicken? You ate the chicken? That's as far from gone as the chicken can ever be. It's inside you. It's going to literally be you. The future is volatile, it is dangerous, it is opportunistic, and it is the only thing that makes us free.